Hey everybody, I'm Patrick. And I'm Arm. And this is Cash Sports. Hey, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 2019 NBA draft class and how is it looking so far in that draft class. So, in this draft class, right, um, it's not a mystery that Zion Williamson was projected and was taken as the first overall draft pick of that class mm -hmm. in skills in terms of talent, in terms of explosiveness, in terms of box officeness. Zion Williamson was undisputedly um, the number one pick of that draft. Now, that being said, if you look into last year, Zion Williamson definitely fit the bill as a number one draft pick mm -hmm. uh, within that class. But as of recently, he's been losing, you know, he's been losing. He's been gaining a lot of weight and getting injured a lot. So in sports, the biggest thing is being present, being there, being on the court. And I understand that Zion is a young guy and, you know, he still has a lot of career ahead of him. Because I'm not going to say just because he has a couple injuries that his career is all said and done. But with that being said, on how he plays is dependent on his athleticism. Mm -hmm. And so just talking about Zion Williamson, the biggest story out of this draft might be the guy that's been taking after him, and which is John Morant. He might he might be the best player coming out of this draft. So what do you think about that? I do agree because um, as we can see by John Morant's stats, that he really pops off now uh, this season, and I think well deservingly is a starter for an All Star. Zion on the other side. Um, I don't know if you follow his off-season team, uh, off-season time, but he's clearly out of shape as of right now. Mm. He's just fat. All his explosiveness um, and all that we well know Zion for, I really don't think that he will be able to do much of it with his current state. When was the last time we saw Zion actually play? That was last year. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I just don't think he can be the same Zion he was when he comes back. Well, I'm, I'm not going to go that far and to say that he's not going to be the same player. Mm -hmm. But I definitely would say that he needs to be more cognizant of taking care of his body, mm -hmm. staying healthy, and staying on the court. You know, so if you just compare stats to players, Zion Williamson, just off last year, he was really efficient mm -hmm. from the paint. You know, he was shooting 62% from the field, mm -hmm. which is a very high percentage considering the volume of his shots and how much he's ma how many times he's making it. He's a beast in the paint. He can score any time in the paint. He can get to the paint the way he wants to. You know, he and his his defense can certainly get better, mm -hmm. and his shooting can certainly be a little bit better. But I don't think that should be required of him so early on because he. I already think he's a decent enough stationary shooter as it is. Now, even if you look at this class, like you have RJ at number three, and I think RJ is becoming. A fantastic player. Now the Knicks just aren't a great organization, so mm -hmm. they just suck, you know. Within you know, just because the you know the, the franchise really isn't yeah. that great. But if I I feel like if the Knicks had a better supporting cast around RJ, mm -hmm. where he had room to kind of grow and make those young mistakes, and now you're kind of seeing it for itself, where he's becoming more and more of an all star. And I, I say he could be an all-star within um, within the next three years or so. And then, so when you look down, you see Tyler Hero, who's definitely been putting up some points coming off the bench. And so this draft class, it really isn't – you have Kevin Porter Jr., 
And Jordan Poole Jordan is Poole. And Jordan Poole is definitely still putting up some uh, putting up some good minutes for the Warriors. Bol Bol. <laughs> Yeah, but Bobo has been kind of traded around, yeah. you know, a couple of times. And I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Bobo. You know, for me, I want to see I want to see him play a little bit more. But, I mean, but the coach and their front staff have to be seeing something that I'm not, and that's the reason why he's not playing. Mm -hmm. Taylor Hogan and Tucker, I mean, we kind of know what's going on with the Lakers situation. <laughs> um, but that being said, I, it's looking like, John Morant, and also Darius Garland, you know, on the mm -hmm. Cleveland Cavaliers. Shout out to him, man, because he's playing really well, and he's an all, he's an all star this year. Mm -hmm. Out of out of Cleveland, <laughs> out, of, out of the Cleveland Cavaliers. So it's it's undoubtedly irrefutable to uh, to say that any other player should be taking number one, except for mm -hmm. John Morant. John Morant is the best player so far, it is looking like, from the 2019 yeah. draft. Mm -hmm. And so, he's already made a playoffs as the best player on his team. Mm -hmm. So, that being said.